Welcome to the Solar Energy Channel, where you'll get an honest inside look at all things solar. I'm Warren. And I'm Larry. And in this video, we're going to talk about solar technologies that we're really excited about that are coming out. So Larry, what new products are you keeping an eye on that could be coming out or new technologies? So it's interesting, Warren, new technologies aren't as much of a thing as they were five to 10 years ago in the solar space. A lot of what we're seeing is new brands getting into technologies and trying to make improvements on those technologies. Um, there's a couple of brands that we're watching out for. There's one solar module, one solar inverter, and one battery brand that we're looking at specifically. Uh, the solar module brand is a company called Toledo Solar. One of the reasons that makes this company more interesting right now is because they're models that are made in the U.S. and they use all U.S. raw materials, which makes it highly likely that they're going to be eligible for the additional 10% tax credit with the IRA bill. Not guaranteed, we don't know the, the final determination, but highly likely. What they use is a thin film technology similar to what First Solar uses. First Solar is a large manufacturer in the U.S. that makes product primarily for utility, for large utility scale projects. But Toledo Solar is trying to bring that product to market in the commercial space and then on top of that make it eligible for the 10% additional ITC. The challenge is they're a new company. They don't have a track record yet, so we're keeping an eye on them and, and trying to figure out where they might fit in our portfolio. Do you have an idea of pricing or cost for these panels? Pricing is going to be a little bit higher than a typical solar panel. Think about it. It's all U.S. product, all yep. U.S. raw materials made in the USA. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but if you can get that additional 10%, there's some potential value there. So what about inverters? So there's one solar inverter that we're keeping our eye on right now, and that's Tygo. Uh, Tygo has been around in the solar optimizer space for many years. They're a well-known solar brand. Now they're bringing a solar inverter to the market. It's not really a unique technology, but it is a hybrid inverter, so it works well with batteries and solar. Uh, they do have a cellular option. Um, they do have an integrated uh, revenue grade meter right in the inverter, so they have some of those neat features that we like, and they're reasonably cost competitive, and right now they have some availability. So I, th I think we're going to see Tygo be a strong player, at least in the residential and small commercial space in the coming year. And then what's new and exciting battery-wise? So the most up-and-coming battery brand that I'm aware of right now is, is Franklin Whole Home or Franklin WH. Uh, they have a solution that looks like it's going to compete directly with Tesla. Uh, it's an AC battery, which simply means batteries store DC power, but they have an inverter right in the battery, which means that it's going to be AC coupled with really any solar array uh, on the market. Um, they have a Whole Home option which if you want to do whole home battery backup, you've got to have a lot of, a lot of batteries. So it's not for everyone. It's going to be high, high cost to do that. However, uh, they're looking to compete directly with Tesla. And the way you can tell that is because Tesla has a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery. Franklin has a 13.6 kilowatt hour battery. Tesla has a 10 year warranty. Franklin has a 12 year warranty. So it's pretty clear who they're going after in the marketplace. Yeah. And if they're reasonably priced, we don't have pricing yet, but if they're reasonably priced, I think they could be a, a pretty good option uh, for the coming year. And as batteries continue to become more popular, what happen, What about load control and load management? Anything new and exciting there? Yeah, so there's a lot happening on the, lo on the load control space. So what happens is customers install a battery, and then they realize, what well, can't back up my HVAC system. It can't back up my water heater. But I want it available for all the loads in my house, not just for some of, some of my loads. So in order to have those two things come together, reasonably priced economical backup, plus allowing all of my loads to be covered without having a separate you know, critical loads panel, you have to have some kind of load, load control. So there's companies that we've used, like Lumen, uh, that have a, have a great product. Companies like SolarEdge that's coming out with a solution. Generac has a solution, Span has a solution, um, and there's a number of other companies that are eyeing that space as well. Thanks for watching. As more information comes out about these new technologies, we'll be creating more uh, videos on them. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll be notified when these videos are released.